hello guys welcome to the seventh part of this series so in this uh, in the previous video we have successfully managed to implement the login and logout as well as the register functionality in our web app so now in this video we are going to protect this home route as you can see uh, if we go to the home route then we can actually getting the we are actually getting the content so we don't want this right because we don't want any uh, unauthenticated unauthorized user to be access to be able to access our home routes okay so what we can do is uh, we can simply go to the client directory and we will go to the pages and in the home section so we will run here a callback that is use effect and we are also going to import this so i'll write here use effect i don't know why the intelligence is not working so if I go here and write import react from react so this is not working and I don't know why it is not working okay so it should be import and if I do here now use effect and we are going to run here a function that will check if we are logged in or not so we will go ahead actually and grab our user from the use context and we'll go to the auth context so this is not working as well so we'll import auth context manually so import auth context from context and auth context so this will have the user and we will write here now so if there is user so basically we will do this so if there is no user if there is no user then we are simply going to navigate the user so i will use here or uh, use navigate hook so that is use navigate and we will write here navigate and we're simply going to navigate the user to the login and replace this to true so if you go to the home route then as you can see we are we can't access the home route as you can see we can't access the home route but if i will uh, let's suppose login so this is not working so as you can see we can now successfully access this home route so if I go here and type as you can see we are successfully uh, we are successfully access uh, we are getting the content of this home page route so this is working fine so uh, up to this point we have uh, successfully managed to implement the every functionality we need now let's start creating some more backend routes for the backend or the contact ma contact so we will create some more models in this directory so i will write here contact dot js and let me zoom it for you so we will go to this contact and similar uh, we will require the mongoose and we will create here contact schema and this will have some data like the name of the user so this is going to be of type string and required to be of true and we will pass here name is required similarly we will have the address of the user so i will type here the string this is also going to be a required field so i'll write here address is required similarly uh, we will have the email of the user it is also going to be a type of a string and this is also going to be required field so I'll write here email is required similarly 
uh, we will have the phone number or let's suppose phone this is also going to be this is going to be type of number actually and this is going to be of required field so I will write here phone number is required so far so good and what are the some of the other ways to contact the user so name address email phone number and I think this is pretty much it because I am only going to have some fields later on uh, you can use this um, structure to build your own contact management system because here we are only going to con cover the concepts not the actual code right because uh, if you will know how to use this technology properly that is modern uh, you will be able to create more projects later on okay so now we have successfully created the schema now let's create model so I'll write here contact is equal to new mongoose dot model and this is going to be of contact and this will be a contact schema now we need a more one more field that is uh, posted by so this will be of type of mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id so we will uh, uh, use this posted by field to actually get the data who has posted uh, who has created this contact and we will reference this to our user model okay so we will use this field to check which user has created uh, what sorts of contacts so we will be later using this field to make search queries okay so now uh, this looks fine so now let's go to the now we will also need to export this right so I'll write here module dot exports is equal to contact so now this looks good now we will go to the routes directory and we will create here contact dot js and we will require our router and I will export this router and we are simply going to make a push request to contact and this is going to be of async function request response similarly we will have try catch now we need to integrate this route into our app.js so I will not require and I will replace this with contact and now we need this fields right name so let me take a look because in the previous video I have messed up so we need this fields right name address email phone number so I will copy this here paste it here and I'm going to require this from request.body so as you can see this would be a very tedious task to manually uh, validate all the inputs because we never know what a user uh, can input what sort of data so this will be a, a lot of tedious task to manually validate this all fields so we are going to use a library called joy so I will go to the server and I will add a library called joy so this is a very powerful library for validating the user's input so I'll exit this we'll go to the contact and I will create here uh, something called const validate contact and this is going to take the data of the user similarly we are going to require our joy library and after requiring it we are going to simply create here object schema schema is nothing but a fake data mock data which can be used for validating purpose so I will create here a schema that is name and we want this to be of a string which can have the minimum value of let's suppose 4 
and maximum value of 50 similarly and then we will have the address so this is also going to be of a string uh, which will have the minimum address of 4 maximum address of uh, let's suppose 100 similarly we have the third field that is email so this will be of string and email and this is going to be of required field and I will also uh, make these two fields required as well so I will go here and write here required now we have made, made this field required I am also going to require the phone number and this is going to be a number not a string that will have the minimum that will have the max value of let's suppose So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 ok and this is also going to be of required field and then we don't want anything more field right so now we are going to send back this one so schema dot validate and we are going to validate this um, the data now in order to use this we have to first export this out so I will write here validate contact and then contact so now we have to also create a middleware to validate this so I will go here or actually okay let's go or we can directly go to this contact and uh, we will require this all that is request dot body I will write here is equal to validate contact and we are going to validate the request dot body and we will check here if there were any er error so I will write here if there were any error then simply we are going to send back the status of 400 with a JSON error message of uh, error dot message dot error dot messages dot details if I'm not wrong error dot details sorry and this is uh, array and we will write here message yes so if there will be an error then simply we are going to send back the response so let's see this in action so we will go to this app.js we are going to uh, make a post request to this api slash contact so i will simply open my firefox we will go to the register and we are going to make the post request to our backend so localhost 8000 slash api slash contact and if i hit send request as you can see we are getting error of name is required so if i'll go to the body and so we have to firstly provide a content type application slash json so if I write a name, so let's suppose Sajun Korn and if I hit send it will tell us address is required. So we will use the address. Let's suppose Texas United States. If I send as you can see email is required so let's uh, enter a bad email so I'll write this and if I hit send as you can see it is saying email must be a valid email so we have it is validating as well so let's suppose I enter my email and if I hit send as you can see it is telling phone is required so if I write here phone and if I write here one if I send as you can see uh, this is getting validated so we want to validate a thing as well 
so we will go to the contact and this will have the minimum value of 7 so if I abort this send this again as you can see phone must be greater than or equal to 7 so if I write here uh, let's suppose 980000 then it should work fine as you can see it is uh, loading it means our thing is working fine but if I enter here uh, let's suppose 12 characters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 if I hit send as you can see it is saying phone number must be less than or equal to 1 with 10 zeros so as you can see we are successfully validating the contacts of the user so now in the next video uh, we will create various various routes for the contact where we can send some data from our client side to the back end and it will validate this and it will save to our database similarly we are also we will be also creating various uh crowd we will be also creating various routes which lets user to edit the contact delete the contact and we'll also create a endpoint for searching for the specific user so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye